have stopped ringing at St. Innocent Orthodox Church in Olmsted Township. Police say thieves took all five bells that usually ring out for services. Tonight, the church is hoping those responsible will have a change of heart. News Channel 5's Shay Harris talked to the priest about the crime. He joins us now live from the church. Shay. Well, Chris, we are live here at St. Innocent's Orthodox Church where the thieves took the bells. And here you can see what's left of the actual frame that held the bells. And tonight, not only is the priest hoping that um, these people will have a change of heart, police are as well. My grandmama used to say, Jesus don't like ugly. And when you find ugly that's happened in the church, it's, it's extremely disappointing. And disappointed is what St. Innocent Orthodox Church priest Father Butler says he and parishioners are. Someone stole the five bells that once stood outside the church. We mounted them low because the children like to ring them. They ring them before services and during services for us. Someone used a saw to cut the frame that held the bells up. Olmsted Police Chief John Minnick says this is a very unusual crime. They were imported from Russia approximately six years ago and they have a value of approximately $6,000. The choir director first discovered the bells were missing. Father Butler says they were taken between 12.30 Sunday afternoon and 7 that evening. He says neighbors told them they saw a car on the property that seemed suspicious because the church was closed. We hope that uh, at least the scrapyards are aware. Father Butler says the bills were donated by a member whose husband passed away. He says insurance can't repay what the bills mean to them. He was a musician and she wanted a musical memorial for him, so she purchased the bells in his memory. Father Butler says the bells play a big role in their church services. It's how they call parishioners to worship. It's bad enough to steal. To steal from a church, I think, is somehow worse. And for their own benefit, it would be better if they brought them back. In fact, he says they don't even have to know who did it. I would simply ask to have the bells back. Uh, they came and took them in the middle of the afternoon in the sunshine. Uh, Bring them back in the middle of the night. It, it, it would be fine. Now here you can see where they actually shaved the um, bells away from the frame where they were. And I mean, I'm trying to figure out, you know, how much time they took to do all this. But again, the bells are approximately 100, uh, 300 pounds and they are worth thousands, according to police. And police want to know uh, if you know anything. And if you do, they say just give them a call because they need whatever information you might have so they can piece this whole thing together. On your side, Shay Harris, News Channel 5.